Hello everybody and welcome to Pine Lily Village. Now this is a game by Laborious Lark and we are just going to be playing uh, one episode of the demo as I like to do apparently nowadays on weekends. Um, <laughs> they are a solo developer so one person making this game I believe and uh, it's going to be a nice little farming simulator so we always like those don't we on this channel so let's pop in and see what kind of game this is and how it plays and what it's like and if we want to continue it in the future i have a companion name oh tilly <laughs> In the full release, there will be no more customization, but at the moment we have just like randomization. Okay. Oh, I see. So we've got three different character types, but there will be some more when it releases. So we'll go with this one for now. Not so sure on the red hair as opposed to purple, but you can't have everything when it's just a demo, can you? So let's play. You can save your game at any point from the pause menu. Estrid, oh dear, it's worse than I thought. What's happening? I'm writing to inform the Caster's Guild of Arnfell City that we're in need of a farmer. The last farmer you sent left over a year ago and we've been unsuccessful in finding another. Due to the poor offerings these last few years, the spirits in our temple have weakened and are refusing to let villagers into the temple. If you know of any candidates, please send them our way. Welcome. You must be the new farmer the guild recommended. I'm guessing that this is some time later. Yes. My name is Estrid and I run the general store here in Pine Lily Village. I'm also the mayor of this village. I handle all correspondence and shipments with the city of Arnfell. I know village life is quite different from the bustle of city life, but I hope you'll come to appreciate its charms. Who dis? Oh, great timing, Lady Velasca. I want to introduce you to our new farmer. Indeed, it's a pleasure to meet you. I was a professor of spellcasting at the Arnfell Academy before moving to this remote village. Enough about me for now. I wish to give you these enchanted farming tools. You're here to help our village and therefore should not use inferior tools. Oh, good. Normally I get inferior tools at the beginning. Fantastic. We get some good ones this time. Okay, so these tools have been enchanted to enhance their capabilities and will never break. If you wish to upgrade them further, speak with me later. Ah, oh, there's me thinking I had the fully upgraded tools. Oh, well. <laughs> Excellent. Now that you have your tools, let's go see your new home. Please follow me. Let's go. Wow, that's a messy farm. I love a good messy farm, though. Well, here we are. I know it's not much to look at now, but I'm sure you'll have it looking as good as new with a little elbow grease. Uh, maybe a lot of elbow grease. Anyway, if there's anything you'd like to sell, please place it in the wooden crate to the right of your farmhouse. Pretty standard stuff. I'll give you a good price for anything placed in it and handle coordinating with the caravans to sell your goods back in Armfell. Hi! Oh, I love this guy. Hi, Tilly. This is wonderful news. That is a spirit companion. And they must have been sent by the temple spirits. The reason we need a farmer such as yourself is to help the village provide offerings to the local temple spirits. The previous farmer was lazy and wasn't able to grow much of anything and the temple spirits have suffered ever since then sending a spirit companion is a good sign of their approval. But enough of that for now. I know you've had a long journey to get here, so please take your time to get settled in and start fresh tomorrow morning. Oh, and one more thing. Here are some seeds to get you started. I'm looking forward to watching you grow this farm into something beautiful. Okay, saving. So we're waking up in the morning. Oh, I love my farmhouse. It's already got a beautiful fireplace and stuff. Oh, that's so nice. It will be a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. It just tells you. Instead of you've got to turn on the TV, you've got to go to the weather channel, you've got to do this, you've got to... Oh, that's so much nicer. I like my crystal ball. My crystal ball is awesome. Yes, yes. Okay, so the fireplace. I can make things on the fireplace. This is where I do my crafting. Okay. Wow. And there's auto crafting slots. Nice. What's this? Potted pine lilies on the table. Pine lilies are important to the people of Pine Lily Village and are only found growing in this region. Okay. Anything on the bookcase? That's all my unread and finished books. Okay, so I get to read books. Nice. Uh, can, okay, the table, anything? Nope, so it looks like it's the bookcase, the fireplace, my bed, and the 
uh, crystal ball are the main things in my house right now. It looks like I have 300 stamina, 500 coins, and 100 health. And whatever this is over here, is that water? My watering can, maybe? Oh, I missed that, whatever it was. Oops. It was telling me a thing. Can you tell me it again? I was busy looking at the UI. <sighs> okay. Ah, so it looks like I can possibly reproduce my tools at any point. Yeah. So I never, like if I lose them, they're always there. That's nice. That's very nice. I hope that's what it was trying to tell me before. So I'm guessing I can pickaxe away the rocks. Do I have any like quest logs or anything like that? No. Do we have a map? Nope. Uh, oh, here we are, tab. We've got quests, okay. This is where all the stuff is, under the tab menu. My calendar, so I don't have to buy one, that's nice too. My fish, there are not that many fish, which is <laughs> kind of nice too. Drops in the abandoned mine, all of the villagers I can get to know. Tion and Rion. <laughs> ah, they could be friends with Tilly. Ooh, and my player statistics, how much money I've earned, how many days I've played. Okay. Ah, uh, this seems uh, on its face fairly simple at the moment, which is quite nice. Can I cut down this tree? I just want to make myself a little bit of space for a, a farm plot, and then we can go and explore. Get rid of the stump. I have an owl here with my male. My male is an owl. That's a very cute little, uh, that's a very cute little detail, isn't it? And of course we're going to do a three by three plot. I don't know, is that a bit, that's a bit far up, isn't it? Let's um, just get rid of that. Usually in these games, you can get rid of tilled soil with a pickaxe. Can you in this? Yes, you can. There we are. That looks a bit nicer. I don't know if I need it more in line with my door as well. No, I can have one to either side of the door. That would be fine. I could even have a little path down from going down from that path and it goes down through the farm if I so wanted. Okay, so let's have a look. What have we got here? We've got a farm storage chest and I can sort the items by... Okay, and there's got unlocks and things like that. I can make it bigger. I don't know how to unlock it yet, but never mind. Let's have let's carry on exploring. Uh, this to me looks like the remains of a greenhouse. Very Stardew Valley layout. Uh, have the greenhouse to the left of the farmhouse and then have the thing underneath and then the path up here. You know, that's exactly the same in Coral Island as well. It's like a very, very standardized layout. What's over here then? Is this somebody else's house? Who lives here? Hello, who are you? Your dog is beautiful. Oh my goodness. And you can pet the dog. There you are. Estrid helped me to ask, sorry, asked me to help you out. Jorand. The name's Jorand. I'm a fisherman by trade and ha have been since I was far smaller than a guppy like you. Listen up. You can see a fish are close to the water's surface by looking for moving shadows in the water. The more common the fish, the more shadows in one spot you'll see. Just cast your line and wait for a bite. Got it? Now, good. Now go out there and bring me back a, cer sorry, a cerulean darter. It's quite common around here. Yeah, let's find a... Cerulean data. Common is three, uncommon is two, and rare is one. You can only cast your line at certain fishing spots marked by shadows. Nice. All right, then. Let's see if we can find a cerulean doofer. Hmm. That looks like a rare fish. Those are uncommon fish. These look like common fish. They said it was quite common around here, so I figure it's a common fish. 
Press any button to stop the arrow. You catch a fish when the arrow stops in the colored area. If there are two colored areas, the smaller rewards an additional bonus. Okay. Yay, I got a mud bass, but that is not a cerulean doofer. So let's try again. It might be that there's various fish come from each fishing spot, or it might be that I need to be looking at the uncommon ones. I'm not really certain. Learning to fish. Another mud bass. Really? We're not really getting what we need here, are we? I'll try the other spots. I'll try maybe the... the less common spot just outside. Maybe it's better there, I don't know. I seem to be getting the same fish every time there, but that it could be luck. I only, you know, it's a sample size of two. But the day is, is running on. This is a day timer, clearly. Now I can see it moving. Day, evening, night, I'm guessing. Spring lily. Wonderful, but um, not what I need. Vermilion char. No, you're vermilion, not cerulean. All dropped items will be lost if not retrieved before sleeping. Okay, so it looks like my inventory's full. Uh, it's full of fish and pine cones and wood and stuff. So um, I can come back and retrieve it before sleeping. So I can go put some things into my inventory, into my, into my box, into my farm inventory. Now, half, move, shift, click. There we are. Uh, I should plant my seeds as well, really, shouldn't I? And then, then I'll go back. Oh, I was given 15 of them. But 15 is three times five. Couldn't you give me six, like 18 of them? Fine. I'll make it wider. Get rid of these rocks first. I'll give it a water and then I'll go get some more fish. Uh, It'll be a while before I can work out the best layout anyway, because uh, the layouts are generally dependent on the watering cans. Which, usually at the beginning, you can't charge up anyway. Okay, lovely, all done. Um, some bizarre reason I didn't plant one of them. There we are. That'll do. Right, let's go and grab our fish and keep going and see if we can find the cerulean fish thing. Right, you familiar char. I'll try and catch a couple of these guys and then I'll just see what I can get from the common fishing spot again, whether it's still a mud thing. Mud skipper or something. Not a particularly difficult m mini game. No, that's still these stupid spring lilies. Let's try this spot again. Different time of day now, so maybe. Maybe we'll catch it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Yay, a cerulean data. That's what I needed for the quest. Okay, in we go. Now I've got some fish that I can sell overnight as well, which is quite nice. Have you caught anything yet? You can see if the fish are closer to the water surface by looking for moving shadows in the water. The more common the fish, the more shadows in the little spot. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I got it. There you go. Confirm. Oh, not bad. Seems like you're not as useless as the last one. Here, take this old lure of mine. It might come in handy. Yay. 
I have completed first cast. Wonderful. My current fishing level is one. Reward level three. I see. So we have a uh, farming read reading. A reading level. Wow. Uh, ranching, cooking, and combat. I was given a lure, so I don't know if that's gone into my backpack now. To manage fishing lures, go to your inventory and select options on the fishing rod. Inventory. Which one's inventory? Beastery, villagers, achievements. Collections. So it looks like, like from this book we can't get into the inventory. It seems to be I though, or B for backpack. Hmm. Really, I can't? Quest, skills, farming. Farm animals, animal products. There's not much in the demo, so there'll probably be more in the real game. No! So how do I get in my inventory again? Ah! I tried to press I. That didn't work. I could have sworn that was what I did before. Controls. Inventory is Q. Clearly! I'm glad they have that in there, though. Uh... Right, so click on the fishing rod. Options. No lure. A pebble lure. Decreases arrow speed, but also decreases the chance for higher quality fish. No, I don't need that. I can just do the mini game. It's fine. Alright then, so we've had a look over there. <laughs> Let's have a look up here. There is a Firefly Glow. <gasps> what do we have here? It's Teod and Rion. It looks like someone new to play with. You know, we haven't had a human interested in our lanterns in ages. Well, we did scare away the last few. Anyway, there used to be a human long ago who was able to lure all kinds of interesting insects to our lanterns. She even logged which bugs were lured by what. But that wouldn't be any fun at all. Precisely, so instead her boring notes, instead of her boring notes, sorry, we'll tell you riddles instead. That's way better than just being given the answer. Oh, and keep an eye out for our lanterns. We've claimed quite a few places as ours over the years. Just look for our lanterns and you'll find more riddles to solve. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, so... Uh... We'll have to solve our riddle to get this one. It starts as a seed in a shell smooth and round. It holds the potential for a grand tree once found. Pinecone? Smooth and round's probably like more an acorn or something. There's a few different kinds of tree around, so... I cut down like a pine tree, but I think these guys over here might be oak trees. I'm gonna cut one of these down and see if I get a seed from it. And solve their riddle. I like that, the, that you have cute dudes that give you a riddle. There we are, acorn. That's probably what it is. Confirm. Oh, so they don't even tell you if the riddle's right. You just have to try. Oh my goodness. Okay. I suppose it's better than nothing though, isn't it? Right? Um... Let's go this way now. See what's over here. Do we have do we have a map anywhere? No. Not as far as I can tell. Calendar dishes. Alright then. I see. The door is locked. Perhaps everyone is in the tavern for the evening. Well, let's go to the tavern, shall we? Where's the tavern then? No one knows where the tavern is. Especially not me. 
Where would you put the tavern? If you were me, is this the tavern? It looks like it might be. Yes, everyone's in here. Yay! Oh, hi, I'm Eric. I'm studying the magical and archaeological significance of Pine Lily Village and the surrounding area. Did you know it's the oldest village on this mountain? Anyway, can you help me with find my magnifying glass? I lost it the other day when I was out digging for artifacts and I think I might have accidentally buried it. It would probably have enough magical residue on it for a sp spirit companion just... Sorry. For a spirit companion such as yours to locate it. I know Lady Valeska used to be a professor at the Armfell Learning Academy. Maybe she would be willing to help. Right then. Ask Lady Valeska about that. Lovely. Uh, let's see. Lady Valeska is right here. So handy. Tavern's great. Hmm. I think I need to be in my house to be able to properly help you. Talk to me in the morning. Oh, oh that's annoying. I'm going to chat to you guys. Welcome. You can call me Yuri. My brother Eric and I live at the library. Is it Eerie? I'm going to go with Eerie. While most of the books are free, I do sell rare books that occasionally come in from passing caravans. Let me know if you're interested. I shall. Hello, my name's Tonna and I work for the Casters Guild of Arnfell as a ranger. The city of Arnfell appoints people like me to keep neighbouring villages safe from any creatures that might appear from the mountain. I also evaluate individuals who wish to enter the mountain. Many valuable resources can be found in the mountain, but the deeper you go, the more dangerous the creature become. If you think you're up for it, you'll have to prove it to me first. Okay. Oh, hi, my name's Finn. I'm the local carpenter around here, so if you have anything you want to build, I'm your guy. I also sell farm animals and supplies for taking care of them. If you have any questions, let me know. So Finn is the... So we've got the librarian, the ranger, the scientist guy, and the archaeologist guy, the uh, rancher. Who are you? Oh, that's Estrid. Hello, how are you settling? I know I told you this when you first arrived, but as a reminder, I'm the general store owner and I sell all the seeds and farming supplies you'll need as well as useful crafting recipes. Let me know if I can help you with anything. So general store... It's great to see newcomers in the village. You can call me Garin. My wealth wife, Helena, runs the tavern while I handle the kitchen. Come back in the evenings and I'll serve you the best food north of Kazmira. Okay. My name is Helena. I'm pleased... Sorry, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the owner of the village tavern. You'll never want for any better drink or food while you're here. My husband, Garin, is an amazing cook and I've been working on my winemaking craft for a few years now. Don't be a stranger and come to the tavern one of these evenings you're here. I'm already here. Coral root sticks, trail snack, and sugar melon salad. No, not right now. I don't have no money. Well, I have a bit of money. And then we've got fishermen who I've already talked to. Right, so we chatted to everybody in the village. So that was wonderful. But so far... So far, so familiar, actually, I would say. The doors are locked. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of what differentiates this game from others, if anything. It doesn't look like I can sort that out, sadly. Boo. So I think it's probably time for me to go to bed now. I've chatted to everybody, I've watered my crops, I've done the fishing quest. If you're ever not sure what to do, talk to villagers, complete quests, decorate your farm or explore the surrounding area. Fishing level two. That wasn't too hard to get then. If you're unsure what to do next for quest, check your journal for help. Well, we know we need to go and see Lady... Lady what's her name? But I'm going to go and check my acorn and see if we caught anything. I caught flame bugs. Lovely. I didn't actually sell anything, did I? So does that mean... It emits light to attract prey, often under tree cover. So do I have like a certain amount of... Um, Like bugs that I can find. Yeah, I can use that as bait as well. So I should probably probably keep hold of that, but maybe I could sell my fish. 
So out here in the like wilderness, can I then use my tools and things? It doesn't look like I can. Head this way, see what I can find. So I'm not allowed to go that way. You hear laughter in the woods. Okay. Got to be careful then. Might be a witch or something. Not available in the demo, whatever that is. What about here? Can I go up this way? I can. Apparently. And I found a stone chest. It's old and weathered and has three recesses on the front of it. It looks like a carved gemstone could go in each recess. You check and unfortunately you don't have three gemstones in your pack that you think would fit. That's fine though. Uh, looks like there's a bridge across though. Obviously in demos I'm really looking to like explore as much of them as I can and see what I'm looking for. You know, see what's available, see what I can do, see how far I can go. I probably do need to water my beets though, don't I? The rocks are stuck together with frost. You'll have to wait till summer or fall to be able to remove the rocks from the stairs. Oh, how interesting. So it's spring now, so I can't get past there. That's a very good way of making sure that I don't go too far in the spring season. I quite like that. Quick. So that's as far as I can get in this area. I couldn't go that way because there was laughter in the woods. Um, I'm going to water my crops and then I'm going to head into town and see if I can find the lady for the quest. And then I'll do a bit more exploring. Because for the sake of a demo, there's no point in me trying to like clear my entire farm or decorate it too much. And it looks like we've got a little workbench here. Let me do things on that so I can make some fencing, some gates, some wooden paths, and some wooden path V. So I think that is something that they don't always do, which is a, a way to round a corner or a way to sort of make a diagonal. So that I think is a way that I can make a diagonal path, which is really nice. Like that. Utility, I can make a chest, a sign or a torch. And decorations, we don't have any yet. They may come, or they may come as the game develops. I'm also going to sell my vermilion char and some of my spring lilies. There we are. Right then, so we've got like quite a few cool houses around here. You can't go that way because it's locked. Can we go down to the south at all? There's another area for possible fishing, possibly a boat. Something like that around that area. That looks like the ranch. There's a windmill there. Try not to walk on the crops. And there's some people sat outside the tavern. So, see, I heard you were having trouble with the trickster spirits above your farm. They can be mischievous around newcomers. If you want to get into the grove beyond them, you'll need to convince them to let you pass. I know spirits like that usually like sweet things. Perhaps my husband Garen can give you advice on that. Mmm, okay. So we can get into the woods. Treats for the tricksters. Garen, what do you think then? Ah, trickster spirits, you say. Well, Hel Helena is right. <clears throat> Sweets usually do the trick. Try giving them a serving of coral root sticks. You can grow them on your farm and prepare them at the fireplace in your house. Or I can wait till evening and buy them from you. That's probably what I'll do. A hard outer layer and a surprise inside. It's a morning staple, ready to provide. An egg, we need an egg for that one then. I sway in the spring breeze, a vibrant hue. I'm fiery and bold, quite the view. I'm gonna say that's a flower of some description, maybe. One of these flowers. But so far, I've not been able to really 
grab those. A magical force is blocking you from entering. Okay. Right then, so um, there's the tavern and I need to go to the lady's house. I don't know which one that is, but we'll try and find it. What's in here then? There is, I don't know, there's a magical broom in here though. Wow. I need one of those for my house. I can imagine a magical broom is going to do a lot better than a Roomba, right? <laughs> This leads to Lady Valeska's living quarters. It would be impolite to intrude. So this is where Lady Valeska might be. Oh, she's outside at the moment. Hmm, I think I need to be in my house. Okay, so this is all the tool upgrades. 3,000 and we can go up to like a golden tool or something. Nice. A while before I get to that, I imagine. Who are you and what are you doing? Sometimes it's hard- oh it's Estrid. Hard to live so far up the mountain when more than three days journey from Arnfell, which is where my family lives. I could really use one of my brother's famous scones fresh from the oven. Ah, some seeds for me to plant. Uh, growth time four days. Okay, well I could buy one or two or nine or three or nine or something. Might just do three because it's a lot of money. I don't know what I might need my money for. Let's head in here. This is the ranger's hut. I was always getting into fights growing up. I hated bullies and refused to back down. I much prefer to talk about my differences and fight now, but I have to admit that fighting spirit, sorry, that fighting spirit helped me land my apprenticeship with the Castle's Guild in Armfell. Talk to you again at all. No, there's no talking to do there. Okay. So I'm waiting to get coral sticks and I'm also waiting for this one to get back in her house. Go back in your house. <laughs> I'm guessing she might go back for the afternoon maybe or the... I don't know. Let's go and see how much like a chicken costs then. Because apparently we need an egg, don't we? Carpentry runs in my family. I grew up with a saw in one hand and a hammer in the other. I was always underfoot in my parents' shop, but they're happy I'm carrying on the family tradition. How can I help you? I want you to build something on my farm. Perfect, I've been looking for a challenge. So an avian pen, so a chicken coop. Uh, 1,200. Can't afford it right now. But now I know how much it costs, at least. I spent a lot of time... Oh, Eric and I were raised by our grandparents, and I always enjoyed spending my afternoons getting lost in the shelves while they were busy. So, Ant and Beetle, and the Little Flower. And bookmarks. Okay. Everything's too expensive. And I can't talk to the lady. And I've gone about as far as I think I can go. Uh, except for maybe uh, fishing. I could do fishing. Oh, I need to plant my seeds as well. So I'm just going to expand this out and plant my coral seeds. And I'll water them. Yeah, so I can't get any further down here than I am already. Good to know. What's the deal up here though? Why is there like... exclamation marks on those rocks? Hmm. Let's run around the lake and see if there's any fishing spots at all today. 
No, uh, oh yeah, they're all around the other side. Oh. But how am I supposed to get to those? Can I use the boat? Let's see if I can use the boat. An old rowboat. Weathered, but still sturdy. What do you mean I can't? You, what? But how am I supposed to fish then? I can't. I assume that this is this is a rock. Uh, I can't get rid of these. I can't use my scythe outside at all. I'm kind of used to being able to go everywhere and clear weeds and everything like that in most games, but not in this one at all. Um, so yeah, I guess the only thing we can really do right now is clear things on the farm and speak to our lady. Maybe she has uh, finished her morning reverie. Oh, uh, please don't be. She's still outside. Really? Well, so can't fish, can't do my quests. Um, I might be able to go to the tavern now and deal with those spirits. But yeah, I'm really, really irritated that she's not inside. Talk to me in the morning. But in the morning, you were outside the whole day. But we'll try again, maybe on a rainy day or something. She won't want to sit outside then. Alright then, um, can I... Coral root sticks, there we are, let's buy one of those. And I will have a chat with you. And did you know that Iri was the one to suggest we move to Pine Lily Village after I graduated from the academy? She said that some time away from the city would do us good. And I think she was right. And before I came to Pine Lily Village, I lived in the same village as Finn. He was quite the rascal back in the day. You should ask him why he doesn't eat fire cane anymore. What are these? I don't get what this is or what those are. I get what that is, I get what these are. <laughs> Guess I'll have to work it out myself. Right, I'm gonna head over to the forest with my with my sweet treats ready for We haven't thought of a riddle for that one yet. Oh, so there'll be some more riddles for some of them as well. That's nice. Right, I put down the sweet treats. The laughter fades away. Quest completed. Lovely. So can I go in there now? Yay! Hello. So what's going on in here then? Oh, it's pretty. You feel a faint magical presence around the ancient altar. You also hear an almost imperceptible humming sound coming from the offering bowl. So it wants 50 wood offered to it. Okay, I can do that. I can go get 50 wood for the altar. That's pretty cool. Be a good excuse to clear my farm out a bit, wouldn't it? Don't know when I'm supposed to go to bed, but it doesn't give me exact timings, it just kind of gives me a slider, so we'll see. Good reason to do a bit of clearing though. Twenty-three so far. It's 
30. Clear some weeds out the way. This one down as well. So I just need 20 more. Probably once I've chopped down enough trees, I'll go to bed and I'll make the offering in the morning. Uh, unless it needs to be made at night. Could be a thing, couldn't it? I don't want to oversleep. So I need 12 more. Because your farm is really the only place you can get um, wood and things like that, I imagine that in this game, whereas things like Coral Island, you would probably just not really worry about wood too much. You might actually need to give yourself a little grove of planted trees, possibly. Right, so I've got my 50 wood. So let's sleep for the night. And then we'll offer the wood to the altar in the morning. Farming level 2, reach level 4 for a reward. Active quests, getting your hands dirty. Okay, so I made 192 from gathering, which is from my fish. And lily pads and things like that. Details, vermilion char goes to 102, spring lily goes to 90. So if I could do a bit of a bit more fishing, we could probably make an okay amount of money from fishing if we have nothing else to do. Okay, good morning world. It's raining today, so that makes me think that the lady will be inside. Because who would want to be outside on, on a rainy day, see? So maybe we'll be able to do the quest now. Hello, inside lady. <laughs> oh, you want your spirit companion to be able to locate magical artifacts? In my studies at the Academy, we discovered that spirit companions have the ability to sense residual magic on items, especially older ones. I can use the ritual stone I have here to attune your spirit companion to the magic of this village, which should make it easier to, for them to sense nearby artifacts. Stand over there. This won't be but a moment. There. That should do it. I'm sure Eric will be happy to hear it worked. Please come back if you see any adverse side effects. Lovely. Alright then. Just to remind myself, um, he's lost his magnifying glass when he was doing archaeological digging and stuff. I should talk to Eric. Okay, let's talk to Eric, wherever Eric is. Um, I don't know where Eric live. I think they live in this one, Eric and and Iri. Yes, this is the library. I'm so glad me and Eric moved to this village. The winters are cold, but the people here more than make up for it. I need to do some, um, a little bit of grammatical touch-ups on this one still, I think, uh, before it goes live. So, let's see. I'm glad to hear Lady Valeska was able to help. To be honest, she scares me. But she has so much knowledge, I might have to try harder to talk to her more. What do you need? Oh yes, of course, I think my magnifying glass is near the windmill here in the village. Let me know what you find. Oh, I'm glad that you narrowed it down a bit, because I was a bit worried. Let's see if we can... See if we can pick it up near the windmill. Hey, dig it up using your hoe. I'm glad I didn't have to make an extra shovel or anything. Your inventory is full, because of course it is. That's okay, we can go and <laughs> empty it out and then come back. Ugh. Doesn't look like there's a way to run faster in this either. My inventory's so tiny. I really should have kept those bugs out of it though. I want to keep them because they're good fishing bait, apparently. A little sort button there, nice. Um, looks like I have a spring seed that I could plant. 
I'm actually going to save that for now. And fibre. I want to keep the wood in my inventory though. Because we're going to do an offering in a minute. But I'm going to go find the magnifying glass first. And then we'll go and do the offering to the altar. Right, to the windmill. See, the thing is, I think uh, the importance of inventory management in a game is that... Uh, You've got a proportion of how many items are you going to put in the game versus how much storage are you going to give the player. And sometimes there are way too many items for the tiny inventory you're given. And sometimes you're giving a massive inventory and you don't really need it. But usually they're pretty good at sort of realizing that. Okay, back to the library. And we shall give Eric the magnifying glass. And quite a lot of quests already. Were you able to find my magnifying glass? I was. There you are. Thank you so much. I'll be able to dive into my studies again. I'm really interested in taking a closer look at some of the artifacts I have. Oh, um, I'm sure there are a lot of other mag magical artifacts around. If you happen to find any, please bring them to me. I'm trying to establish a museum above the library to display any unique items found. Nice. Okay, well, I can definitely do that for you, Eric. We have completed three quests now. Whether uh, the demo will have any extra magical items, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing if we walk past them, they'll pop up. So, we'll see. We'll see what pops up. So I'm going to head back to the secret woods and we're going to go and see if we can offer 50 wood to this. Well, actually, you don't even need 50. I think I needed 42 or something. Can I, can I look? They're so pretty, though. <sighs> yeah, the humming sound is now slightly louder. Now I need 50 rocks. Really? There are some unusual mushrooms growing on this log. You wonder if you'll be able to explore deeper into the grove someday. Can I not even get the mushrooms? And All right, let's go get 50 rocks. I've probably already got some rocks. Let's see how many rocks I have already. I already have four whole rocks. No, I have 10 whole rocks. I was going to say I thought I had a bit more than that, but this is a good reason to clear my farm, and that's nice. It's actually giving me a reason, as opposed to just, like, certain other games where the you're in year two and your farm's still not clear. <laughs> that would be nothing to do with me being lazy. No, 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 no. I'm just very, um... Quest driven. <laughs> progress driven. So if I can't make progress without doing it, then I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. But if I can get around it, then of course I'm not going to do it. It's inefficient. <laughs> Getting loads of spring seeds from uh, pulling up these weeds as well. I'm assuming it's going to ask for fibre afterwards. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? 34 so far. Let me just arrange my inventory a little bit so I can see them. So I'll put away this, the wood. I'll put the stones down here. I'll put the fibre away. I've got. I've already got like 81 fibre. So what that means... Is if it asks me for 50, I'll be able to give it straight in. I might even take it over with me, actually. I <laughs> think if I were the devs, that's what I would do. I'd be like, haha, now you need fibre. Well, look how pretty my farm's looking now. Although, it is, again, it's looking muddy. So it's nice when you can then put down things that make it look less muddy. Put down some paving and put down some paths and put down some fences and put down some... Some grass and things like that as well. Right, I've got 50 stone now. Yay! Exciting! I 
I still haven't been able to go to the altar yet, so I'm hoping that maybe this will will sort of get me towards that point, maybe. The humming sound has increased in volume. Oh, I didn't bring them with me. I should have done, because I knew exactly what it was going to ask. I knew what it was going to ask. And I still didn't think, oh, let's just take that stuff with me. Did I? No, I was like, haha, let's just run over there. But I do have enough. So it will just take me a second. Luckily, it's not a long run. The humming sound that was once imperceptible is now louder and almost melodic. So now I need some kind of bread? Is that bread? Like it's a purple round thing. I need 15 purple round things. Let's go look at my fire and see if that's something that I can cook. There's certainly nothing I've come across yet. Let's see what I can cook again. So it's a sugar melon. Okay. So the she lab needs to go get sugar melon seeds to get any further with that. Fine. I'm only 15 of them. I don't know how many I get. Um, so that's, is this the general store? I forget which one's the general store. I think it might be this one. Yeah. Hello. I'm always excited to go to the tavern during spring. After a long winter, the fresh vegetables are finally abundant and Garen makes the most of it. Hmm. I'm hoping we get more than one out of each of these. Uh, I will spend 300 on it. It's going to take 12 days to grow. Oh my goodness me. Okay, well, okay. Fine, I see. I'm hoping that some of my stuff will be ready soon so I can get an idea as to how much uh, yield I get out of things. I won't be able to spend a lot on these melon seeds. 12 days. <sighs> well, hopefully there'll be more things to do in the meantime. Um, I doubt we'll get to see what happens there within this episode, though. Okay, did we have any other quests that I need to do right now? There are no active quests right now. I... I can't do anything with the altar until those are ready and possibly even then I'll try and grow more. I'm sure I can sell them for a decent clip. Um, so let's do some fishing. I can make some money that way. And then maybe I'll head to the tavern for the evening and chat to people again see if anyone's got anything else to say to me. Probably do one more day, so we'll go into day four, I think. Oh, now we get Cerulean data straight away. Hurrah. I'll catch two fish to sell, I think. Oh, it's nice there's fish in the rain, isn't it? A water reed, okay. Is that the equivalent of junk, maybe? I'm not even sure. It might sell for a good amount, you never know. I should probably clear the stuff off the path there, shouldn't I? But yeah, I'll sell my fish. And my reed. That is not a fish, that is a piece of wood. There we are. And then I'm gonna head to the tavern for a little bit and just see what people are saying in there definitely seems to want you to go to the tavern most nights. Everyone's got stuff to say. Okay, cool. So, I'm glad winter's over. It's hard to fish when it's so cold out. I like going to the tavern in the evenings. 
Helena always has the best gossip and news from the city. So they are saying a lot of different things. There's some good, a decent amount of dialogue in this already. Uh, spring is the time for new life, both for plants and animals. Welcome. I'm glad you were able to find the time to join us for an evening. I know farming can keep you quite busy. Have a seat and you enjoy yourself. Great to see you here. The food's excellent and the wine's not too bad if I do say so myself. That was a re that's a repeat. But there's not been too many repeats, which is nice. I'm happy with that. Right, and we'll head to head to bed. I'll do one more day and then I will say that we've had a a decent look at this. I'm actually enjoying it. I think I think it's um so far I've not seen that much has been that different from some of the other farming games I've played, but I feel like it's got potential to have some different stuff. The fact that you've got your your, your riddling little spirits, that was really nice. The fact that you've got the rock that you've got to feed things to and, uh, and that'll get you into the temple probably, and I imagine it's gonna really start to open up. I really do enjoy the look of the interior as well. It's been made to look very, very, very cozy and nice and pretty, so. I really like that too. When my coral root is done, I could make some coral root sticks. I'm hoping that making things will be worth more money than not in this game. We shall see. Okay, time to sleep till the next day. So I made another couple of hunt. Well, I no, I made 60 that day from my fish. So the um, cerulean data only sells for 35. Ooh, that looks like they might be nearly done or something. Can I? Now this is always the, the problem, isn't it? How do you harvest and is it ready yet? It's day four, I planted it on day one. So day two, day three, day four. I think it's on its third day of growth and I think they will be ready tomorrow. So I'll just see what I can do today and if uh, it might be nice to go through to the first harvest of something at least. Let's see how much harvest sell for and things. But I'm certainly not gonna be able to get chickens for a little while or anything along those lines. So I'm glad that we have things like quests to do because that really is what's making this different. Quests and dialogue and getting to know people in a game is definitely where I think it can stand out from one farming game to another. They're all going to have the basic things they're going to have. You'll, you'll do your farming, you'll clear your land, you'll clear your farm, you'll have chickens and you might have some really interesting animals possibly. You might ha even have really interesting crops, but the thing that's probably going to make your game stand out will be the people. Tonna, hi there. Hope you're settling in well. I wanted to talk to you about an opportunity that I think you'll be interested in. Come walk with me to the mountain entrance. Yay! A new, a really new thing is happening today. I'm glad that I did an extra day now. As I'm sure you know, the mountain here is a major focal point for magic power in the region. That much concentrated magical energy has attracted many dangerous creatures to the mountain. Part of my job as a ranger is to make sure no creature leaves the mountain and harms any villagers. The other part of my job is to make sure anyone wishing to enter the mountain is prepared for what lies within. The mountain used to have an old mining operation in it. But the mountain creatures eventually drove off the miners. Oh, maybe we could put them back in. Aha, that was locked before. Why would anyone want to enter a mountain filled with dangerous creatures, you ask? Well, because of the rare and valuable resources within the mountain, of course. I know for a fact that there are rare metals and precious gems that would be useful on your farm. To that end, I want to make sure you're ready for what awaits you in the mountain before I'll allow you to enter freely. First, you'll need food. There are very few ways to heal yourself while in the mountain. So you'll have to bring your own supplies. Talk to Garen, I'm sure he can help you out. Second, you need a magical way to defend yourself. Talk to Lady Valeska, I'm sure she can point you in the right direction. I want to do this quest today, absolutely. Where's Lady Valeska then? Inside today. 
so Tonna wants you to be able to defend yourself through magical means, while normally that would take years of study and under expert tutelage. Give me a moment to think. Could you give me like a sword or something? Yes, I think that could work. Perhaps your spirit companion can help you out. They're already attuned to the magic of the area, which might allow you to channel the concentrated magic of the mountain through specific spells. This is all rather experimental, so you'll be limited in spell choice until you've gained more experience. I'll be able to create more spells for you in the future, however, creating spells is a costly affair, so I'll ask for monetary compensation. I've highlighted a few spells that I recommend, though you're allowed to choose whatever you wish. Please walk over here and select your spells at the lectern. Right. So swap spells by clicking on a spell book slot, then selecting a spell below. So we've got some rain spells and things. Um, soaked on enemies for two rounds. I wonder if I can use those on the farm as well. Hydro shot. 30... I'm guessing these ones are too expensive or something? Okay, I'm guessing that it's the... Oh, hang on. Deal 30 damage to an enemy. Okay, well... There we are, so it's all water spells, isn't it? Okay, well, I think I'm I think I'm done. Good. Now, before you go, I'd like to encourage you to experiment with different spells once you've gained more experience with the casting. Some elemental spells have unique synergies that would behoove you to explore. Feel free to return to the lectern to exchange spells whenever you wish. Now, now we're starting to get some differentiation from a normal farming game. Um, the only ones really where you've got a lot of magic and things like that is, I would say, Sunhaven. That's probably the closest to this one that I that I know of at the moment, but it still still feels different to that as well. So it's good. It's nice. Right, let's head out to... Oh. Apparently we need to talk to you again, do we? Have you talked to Garen yet? I believe you'll want more supplies before entering the mountain. Yes. Well, that's what I was off to do, but then I saw that there was a question mark above your head, and then I thought, well, now I need to speak to you again. I'll talk to Helena as well. I'd like to try a new recipe this week. Do you think you have a good wine to pair with it? Hmm, yes, I think so. We still have a few bottles from last year that I think would go well. Great, I love experimenting with new ingredients. New ingredients? Well, as long as they're not creepy crawlies with lots of tiny legs, then I'm fine with it. I'd never do that to you, dear. I promise. You better not. I know where you sleep. Okay, so let's have a little look. Ah, so you want to enter the mountain. Well, I'm glad Tom has told you to get supplies. There are many different benefits that food can give you. Other than being delicious, of course. Many cooked dishes will boost your health or energy, but there are other beneficial side effects of certain dishes. I know of one I got from a village elder not too far from here who swears it can counteract negative magical effects. I've never tried it myself, but I'd be happy to share the recipe with you. I was actually experimenting with that recipe last night and gave it to Helena to try. She might still have some you can take with you. Oh, and I'm sure she also has a few extra health elixirs lying around. We needed them on occasion for a few um, beverage-related incidents in the tavern. Hey, Helena. Oh, sure, I'm happy to help. Here are some health elixirs, which, thankfully, we haven't needed for years. And I do have some leftovers of the River, river Medley Gar of the River Medley Garen made last night as well. So, do I need to now go back to 
lady. No, I don't. Fantastic. Let's head back up to the cave then, I figure. Am I allowed in now? The doors are still locked. Okay. Let's have a look at my journal and see what I need. So, um, Helena gave me supplies. Garen said to talk to Helena for supplies. Learning the ropes. No, I don't want to abandon it. Let's see if we can find Tonna, maybe? Yeah, there we are. Excellent! I see you've walked with, sorry, talked with Garen and Lady Valeska. Now on to the fun part. Yay! Above my office here, I have a training room where you can try out those new spells. It's filled with practice dummies to let you get comfortable with casting. After you've defeated at least one practice dummy, we'll talk about entering the mountain itself. Go, 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 go. And turn. Practice dummy eight uses tip. Bring cooked dishes for your healing. You won't be able to heal until after you defeat the boss of each floor. Practice dummy B uses tip. You can have more than one spell element equipped at a time. Experiment with different element combinations. Practice dummy C uses tip. Be careful, you can inflict status effects on your enemies, but they can also inflict status effects on you. Oh yeah? Well done. I think you're ready for the real thing now. I open the mountain entrance every morning, but I lock it in the evenings, so make sure you enter on time. I have a few more things to explain, so please meet me inside the mountain. After that, I promise you'll be able to dive in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Abandoned mine. Less challenging enemies and iron ore enter level one. This is the last area before you're in the mountain proper. To enter deeper, you'll need to go through this door. The mountain is difficult to navigate and the path through feels ever changing. So be careful as you make your way through to the end. I've also heard the creatures inside only get stronger the deeper you go. As I just demonstrated, this crystal structure is how you exit the mountain. If you see one, you can use it to teleport back to this room. You'll encounter many of these as you journey through the mountain. Congratulations, you may freely enter the mountain. I wish you luck and happy hunting. Quest complete. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Well, you can have that. Oh, it's got area of effect. Nice. You can have that. Get rid of one of them before we even have to do anything. And then... Uh, I want to do this one. How many? Oh, it's two action points. Okay, end turn. Treasure slime is looking nervous. It didn't do anything to me. Okay, cool. Treasure Slime looks ready to run. It hasn't actually hit me yet, so that's quite nice. Okay, so we successfully beat them. We got five Fire Topazes, five Attuned Crystals, and two Dire Wings from the Dire Bats. Oh, I've got a choice. Oh, this is a bit like um, doing Oath Match. 
doing the uh, the runs on there, and you get to choose which direction you go. Ah. Do do do. Oh no, he did a spike slam. That sucks. Three crystallized slime. Lovely. So I can use river medley. I only have one river medley and one health elixir though. Oh. No, I want I want these. Oh. Oh my inventory's full. Oh man. Okay. Um Yeah, we can destroy the piece of wood. That's fine. There'd be fish on this level? Now let's fight. It's a crab monster! So I'm guessing once I get through two more levels, I'll get... I've got a rock claw. Oh, I hate having so few. I could eat my river medley, maybe. a lot of fiber to destroy okay but I can't really get out right now so this is awful like, how is my inventory so full? Oh, oh, it's horrible. We're nearly to a point where I think I can get back out again. <laughs> Treasure slime does nothing to me though. Oh, you ran away. Oh, that's annoying. Then enter one of these, I guess. Hey, I can get out now. Go and empty my inventory. Yeah, I definitely have to get out because I can't uh, do anything with so little inventory space. So what I'll need to do if I want to come into the mountain tomorrow is leave probably quite a lot of my tools behind. I'll bring my pickaxe and maybe my fishing rod. But I might leave some of the rest of the stuff behind. Definitely my hoe inside. Oh, right. Store tools. Oh, so that might be something I could have done while in the cave. I don't know, actually. Maybe not. So maybe store tools before going into the cave, or maybe... Uh, sorry, a queue for inventory, isn't it? And just put the pickaxe back in. I'll have to experiment and see. In fact, I might just go to bed, uh, harvest my beets in the morning, and have another little go in the caves. 
with a slightly less uh, bad inventory. So I might just quickly do that before we before we end. You must use your hands. Do not equip at all. Thank you for telling me. Oh, these are all coral root. Perfect. Health Alex here. Congratulations on finishing Tonner's trial and being allowed to enter the mountain freely. I want to give you the recipe for the health elixir you used during the trial. The insects that are found in the mountain have superior restorative properties, I promise. Good luck, Garin. Nice. I got a health elixir. Wonderful. So I do need to water my crops. So let's go into my inventory and get my water watering can back out. Excuse me. Water these guys and then we can have another little go inside the mountain. We'll see if anybody else has any quests for me for another 10-15 minutes and then we'll then we'll wrap it up. I'm having fun though. Like I didn't certainly don't want to wrap it up early. I'm certainly like, well, can we do more stuff? Like what can we do? I don't have any active quests at the moment. And probably in my inventory I've still got all of that stuff I picked up. So I don't want to go back into the mountain until that's gone away. But let's have a chat. I have a proposition for you. I would like to fix the broken ritual stone next to your farmhouse. I know there's a ritual stone in my house, but the one in your farm is far older and more powerful than mine. If you didn't know, ritual stones are used to channel the magic in attuned crystals to transmute raw materials into more useful ones. I'm sure you and the other villagers, myself included, could find that most helpful, no? Now, in order to repair the ritual stone, I'll need a few things. First, I need a frame to hold the ritual stone pieces together while I perform the needed enchantments. Finn should be able to help with this. Then bring me five attuned crystals. These are found deep within the mountain. While the creatures are in the mountain, sorry, while the creatures in the mountain are quite hostile, with your spells and wits, I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you have the frame and crystals procured, I'll perform the enchantments to restore your ritual stone. Sure, I can do that. I have the ritual things. Uh, let's find Finn. Finn is the carpenter. He will be all the way down here, I think. Hang on, I heard a I heard a blink. Yeah. Move my hoe back out. An empty glass bottle. Fab, can I hand that into the museum? Or do I have to keep that for now? You said you wanted stuff. Now the snows are gone, I'm hoping more artifacts are revealed. How can I help you? I have an artifact to turn in. What have you got? An empty glass bottle. Fascinating. Where would you like to place it? In here. Save. Fantastic. Have we got to say, uh, Eerie? Now it's spring, the caravan shipments should be able to travel to our village. I hope there's some good books in the next one. I'm still looking to get art and beetle. Well, that's all okay. I'm pretty happy with what we're doing right now. Um, I don't know whether I want to sell all of these coral roots or make them into... I I don't think it matters though, does it really? Because I'm finishing up at the end of this day. And then if you guys really like this, we can play some more when it releases. So I'm probably going to put... Uh, I'm glad that I didn't know about the crystals. That I didn't sell the crystals before last night. That could have been bad, right? So I'm going to sell these. I'll keep my... I'll sell my coral roots. I'll store away my tools. Okay. And then we'll go and see Finn. Let's see if we can see about getting a frame. It's probably going to involve wood, but so uh, let's chat first and see what is needed. You have to go from this side. Yes, you do. You need a wooden frame. I can definitely do that. But since this is to repair the ritual stone on your farm, I think the frame should be made out of wood from your farm. Twenty pieces should be enough. 
Using wood from your farm should reduce the variables Lady Valeska has to consider for her enchantments. Oh well, at least I think so. Eric talks a lot about the magic of the area and I've picked up a thing or two. Well, what a surprise! I need some wood, but I did need to know how much, to be fair. So, get my axe back out. I'm gonna chop... I think I only need to chop down like one tree or something for that because I already have about 10 wood sat in my storage. Oh, I've got 18. Wonderful. That's perfect. Alright, let's get my axe back out and let's just chop a couple of sticks. Don't even need a full tree. Just need a couple of sticks. There's one up here, actually. Perfect. Alright, and back we go. Oh, spring seeds. Come on. I'm trying to keep this inventory clean and clear, not like full of rubbish. Question is though, did I put the yeah, all the wood is in there. Perfect. Right. Frame please, Finn. Oh, Finn is looking after the chickens. Can I get in through the gate? Do you have the wood? Yes, I do. There you are. With this, I'll be able to construct a sturdy frame for you. You can tell Lady Valesco it'll be ready as soon as possible. Okay. I will go and tell her that right now. Lady Valesco, frame is done. Ah, good. I'm glad Finn was able to help us out. Do you have the attuned crystals for me? I do indeed. These are quite powerful indeed. Well done. Now everything is ready, we should go to your farm to repair the ritual stone. Hurrah! Now with these attuned crystals, I'll fuse the ritual stone back together. Everything went smoothly and as expected, your ritual stone is now repaired. That's complete. Wonderful. So what does a ritual stone do? I like the magic in this. Oh, right. So rather than... Ah... Uh -huh. Rather than having a forge or something, you transmute. You can make sweet syrup and resin from oak or pine sap. And then there's a not available tab. And there's an ore and planks. So you can make smooth plank, iron or gold bars. Very nice. So it's like an, uh, a catch-all kind of, catch kind of uh, workbench-y thing, I suppose. And then you've got your actual workbench there. So I could, for example, make a small chest out of 15 wood and 3 stone. Uh, which might actually be quite handy. It small, stores a small number of items and is not accessible from a crafting station. Whereas I figure the farm storage probably is accessible from the crafting stations. I would expect. So there we are, that's what that's all about. Um, I am thinking, let me see where we're at with things. A travelling merchant coming in two days' time. But I'm very much feeling like we've had a really decent look at sort of what this game is all about, which is all I want to do for these these little uh, one-shot demos. And uh, I definitely think that this would be one that I wouldn't mind coming back to and having a deeper look into. We'll just see how you guys... Um, enjoy it and what you think of it so if you did enjoy it please do leave me a like below if you'd like to if you'd like to see more then please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome